Today, Project Blue Blood 557 gets finished up and dyno, plus a trip to the School of Automotive Machinists. Welcome to Engine Power. We're continuing on our 557 inch big block Ford build for all of you Blue Oval fans. It started out as a 385 series 460 block we had lying around. It was fully machined, received an Eagle rotating assembly, a custom ground cam, and a good oiling system. Now it's time for the top end. Now the induction is always the key recipe in the horsepower equation, and it also has the biggest effect on the entire combination. Now with as many cubic inches as we're packing, we needed a set of cylinder heads that would complement them. So we chose TrickFlow's PowerPort 325 competition ported heads. The intake and exhaust ports are CNC machined. The intake measures in at 325 cc's, the exhaust at 145. Now the exhaust is also raised up 270 thousandths for increased airflow. Now down here, valve sizes are 2200 on the intake and inch 760 on the exhaust. And the combustion chamber is CNC machined and comes in at 78 cc's. Now the valve springs will work with our custom solid roller already, so we don't even need to change them. 27 thousandths compressed thickness chromatic gaskets will put our compression ratio right on target at 10 to 1. That's a great setup for street friendly pump gas and allows a big hit of nitrous when duty calls on the drag strip of course. Now the power port heads can be located on the dowels and the massive 9 16 ARP studs can be screwed into the block. We're putting them in after the heads are in place so no aluminum gets scraped off in the bolt holes contaminating the gasket and throwing off the torque value. We'll dress the washers and the nuts with ARP Ultra Torque Lube and cinch the heads down in three passes, first to 70 pound feet, then 100, and the final 140. <sighs> yeah, baby. Now our solid roller comp cams lifters can drop in. We always make sure to soak them in oil. Before the push rods, the guide plates are positioned with 7 16 studs, then torqued to 55 pound feet. Resting on them are 3 8 diameter, 8 800 long, 135 wall comp high tech push rods. The thicker wall is stronger and stiffer, decreasing valve train deflection. 1.73 ratio trick flow rocker arms were also in the pile, so we're reusing them. They're positioned on a 7 16 stud. Hot lash is 16 thousandths on both intake and exhaust, so cold lash will be set at 10. The intake is a Trick Flow R Series high rise with a dominator flange. The operating range is from 3,500 to 8,000 RPM. Now it has extra material for custom port work and has bosses for fuel injection. Now an electric Mazir water pump can be attached to their plate we installed earlier. Capping off the valve train are TrickFlow sheet metal aluminum valve covers we added a little dupli-color metal cast anodized surface color to. In blue, of course. Mike and I have a three-part procedure when building an engine. Assemble it, which is done, dock it, which is about to happen, and run it to give you the results you deserve to see for watching us. Our headers came to us a long time ago from Cook's. They were custom built for use in the dyno room have a two inch primary and a trick merge collector that has a three and a half inch outlet. We'll run this engine with seven quarts of Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic 10W30. As always, a quick prime to ensure adequate oil pressure and lubrication to the areas it needs most. A locked out MSD Pro Billet distributor <coughs> handles the sparking duties and Excel Extreme 9000 ceramic eight millimeter plug wires We'll carry that voltage to the spark bolts. We know they're called spark plugs, but spark bolts is more fun. A two inch spacer will rest on the manifold, and we borrowed this 1150 CFM Holly HP Dominator from the 572 we built a couple weeks ago. When we come back, it's run time. This dyno session is going to be simple and straightforward. Every single one of the pulls we make is going to be with 93 octane pump gas straight from the shell station. Now we'll make a couple naturally aspirated first, then bolts on the nitrous, and that's where we're going to press the limits. So let's get started. When Pat drops in a distributor, we know the engine will fire right up. 
The sound of big cubic inches is unmistakable. Total timing is at 30 degrees. We're gonna let it run for about 10 minutes to let the ring seat and to get it to operating temperature. All right, she sounds good. Oh yeah. Up to temperature, next thing in order. Lash her up. Here's a quick tip. Always set your valve lash at operating temperature and only take one valve cover off at a time to help maintain the engine's temp. I'm not very excited about this. After a couple of runs, with the timing at 34 degrees, the results were better than expected. Look good. That was really nice. Look good. Yes, sir! 754. 664 for torque. That is awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. And we're only halfway done. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is going to wake up on some nitrous. Woo! It's NOS's Big Shot kit that uses a plate with a nitrous and fuel spray bar, making it a wet kit. Next are the solenoids one for the fuel, and one for nitrous. We'll start off with a 225 horsepower hit. Now this kit comes with jets for 190 to 300 horsepower. Fuel is supplied to the fuel solenoid from a Y block on the Dino's fuel system. Now a line runs from the nitrous solenoid to the bottle. With the activation switch wired up, we're ready to restart the engine and drop the timing back to 22 degrees. That's four degrees per hundred horsepower of nitrous. 43 to 65? Sure. I'll give you 200 to start it. Yep. I'm going to hit this about 4,500. Here we go. Technically, nitrous is chemical supercharging. It's an oxidizer that increases the engine's volumetric efficiency in a big way. That was big. That was big for torque. I saw big torque numbers. Woo! Mm -hmm. So big, it's off the graph. It's Let's rescale it. It's off the graph. <laughs> Oh, 1,031 on power and 996 pound-feet of torque. <laughs> that is, that, that is, that That's is. That's cool. That is evil right there. We have a bigger shot, too. Let's check plugs and see I, how she survived I, I, it. I got to pull every plug in that thing to make sure it's OK. At this power level, it's a little on the rich side, but I don't care. That's, that's where it should be. We're going two heat ranges colder on the spark plug and stepping up the nitrous shot to 300 by changing the jets. And another drop in timing to 16 degrees. You ready for this? I'm ready. When the nitrous activates, I wish you could feel the rumble we feel in our feet. 1058, but look at the torque, what that 75 shot gain gave us. 1,091 pound feet, 93 octane gas. That is straight octane right out of the pump. We said we're gonna push the limit. Looking a little on the edge. So we're oh. checking the plugs in hopes of one more and, run. And I would much rather have it oh, uh, be soft than to, to burn something up. Um, we're gonna stick some timing in it. Another run. Three degrees are being added for a total of 19. And here it goes again. What's adding three degrees of timing worth? Holy cow. 1,080 on power. 1,119 pound-feet. I am actually glad we're done. I, I've never ran something this hard on straight pump gas. And we're done. Last engine of the season. Congratulations, man. This engine was built for nitrous, but performed like a champ naturally aspirated. Now, it goes to show big power can be made with pump gas with everything set up correctly. Now, this one's finished, but all you Mopar fans, don't worry. Your big block build is coming up soon. Where are tomorrow's engine builders coming from? Stay with us and find out. We've worked with the School of Automotive Machinists several times in the last few years. Now they do great work, but their main order of business is training tomorrow's race team members and high performance machinists. Here's a quick tour of their headquarters in Houston, Texas. In the early days of when, when I was building engines, my, my engines were kind of my male ego, you know, and now my graduates are. Our graduates that graduated 29 years ago are hiring our graduates now. The School of Automotive Machinists, SAM for short, is a family business that specializes in education at full speed. 
veteran racers Judd and Linda Massengill opened the doors in 1985. It's now the go-to place for employers looking for new employees to work for race teams and high performance industries. We are very fortunate that we have more employers calling than we have students graduating. Um, what I find that happens is we will place a student with an employer. Well, that student does a good job, and so they call us again and want more students. The center line is going to change. Here, you get both engine theory and hands-on training in block and component machining, blueprinting, engine assembly, and testing. In the ever-growing CNC program, students can step into the future of high-performance cylinder head and block modification. They'll basically create a copy, a digital copy, through the computer and the ferro arm, so that way we can take it and we can actually put it on the Haas. Because whatever they have is going to be duplicated between all the cylinders. They still have to have somebody to design that first port. And that's where the cylinder head machining program comes in. It's still so important to learn the grinding skills, to learn our measuring skills, because even once it's out of, the, out of that machine, it still has to be valve jobbed, all the guide work has to be done, and there's still a lot of detail job that has to be done. The thing that makes us so great, I think, is because each student is allowed to have a project. It's something special if it's your own when it fires up on that dyno, you know, and then you see good numbers on it and everything. Plus, students get all the hands-on experience they need to operate an engine dyno. They learn how to hook the engine up on the stand, how to hook up all the wiring, all the plumbing, and then they come in here and they learn how to make a dyno pull. Imagine getting to help build a race engine, then working as a member of the pit crew. They're the ones putting the car together. We certainly keep an eye on them, right? So it's real hands-on. There's no doubt that they love that. I mean, the car just kind of becomes a part of them. Sam's proud to be an official military-friendly school. Gavin Simcoe is attending all thanks to the post-9-11 bill. Took a tour of the school and uh, did a lot of reviews about the school, looked it up, and I found nothing but good, good things, not one bad review. Uh, got here and saw all the students working on things, students in the classrooms. It is what it is. It's a great school. To stay great, change has to be part of the plan. A building expansion will soon be underway, along with classes in performance welding. And just recently, Sam began offering a fully accredited associate degree program. It does let them move into management. They now have psychology courses, they take the English courses, they take the algebra and physics courses and the communication classes. So it lets them evolve into a more rounded student. At SAM, education at full speed is more than a catchphrase. It's a commitment to anyone with a passion for engines and a hunger for high performance learning. Pat and I are back at one of our favorite places, Beach Bend Raceway in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And this weekend, it's the NMCA Muscle Car Nationals. We're here to show you guys what a great sanctioning body this is and cover some of the heavy hitters in the fastest classes. It's actually test and tune day before the race. A great time for you to come out meet the racers, and get up close and personal with some of the cars in a range of classes. Well, the NMCA has everything from mild to wild, from our VP Racing Fuels Pro Mod category all the way down to our Gear Vendors True Street category. We have something for everybody. Do you like old school engine power? These muscle cars are competing in the Dave Duel Classic. It's the world's largest nostalgia super stock race and a wild ride back in time. This year, a massive Mopar showed up to buy for national honors. Even a couple of 59 Plymouth Furies. I wonder if those fins help with aerodynamics. Our first stop out here in the pits is Harriston Motorsports. They're a team out of Southern California who have been racing big power adder cars since the early 2000s. And they're the guys that are setting the new standard in the Pro Mod class. Hairston Motorsports became well known in the racing world for running the fastest small block car in NHRA history. They did it in this 2007 twin turbo GTO they bought from Jerry Bickle, but 
After a while, the family team decided they needed something bigger and better to win in Pro Mod. Showing up with a small block is like showing up at a gunfight with a knife. You know, it, we don't get enough of a waste, weight break, so that's why we switched to the big block. With Jake's experience building engines and running race programs, it comes as no surprise that he is the crew chief and the guy in charge of the new big block program. We bought the engine. Um, it was uh, more or less complete. Um, took it apart, evaluated it, uh, made some changes to it. It's basically a 525 inch big block Chevrolet uh, on a five inch core center. Uh, it's got a you know, billet block, CM billet blocks and a billet heads. I put it on the dyno about two weeks ago, made some low boost pulls, uh, ran excellent. All the engine data was good, so we decided to put it in the car and come here to Bowling Green. Of course, a well-engineered car and competent driver are part of the equation. The aerodynamics are just phenomenal. I mean, they're designed to go fast and they stay on the ground, and the faster you go, the straighter they go. This will be the very first quarter mile run with the new engine combo. In a way, it's the culmination of intense planning and hard work, not to mention all the cost. So will it pay off? The answer's yes, a 596 at 249 miles an hour. And this is just a taste of what you need to come see at one of these events. And classes range from entry level all the way up to the big pro mods like the Hairston's run and everything in between, even nostalgia cars. Now these races are held all over the country and they're some of the most exciting because they have small tire and big tire cars. If you want to find an event near you, log on to nmcadigital.com. This Fitech EFI package from Pace Performance is perfect for your daily driver, street machine, or bracket racer. Now this system has the fastest and most accurate self-learning features available. Now the throttle body comes in at just under 950 CFM and is designed to support engines between 250 and 600 horsepower. Now built onto the throttle body is an ECU that has full spark control, so there's no need for an external box. Also built on is a fuel pressure regulator. Now having the ECU there means a super slim harness to keep your engine bay neat and clean. High flow injectors with wet flow technology have a unique swirl spray annular discharge design that ensures complete atomization. Packages include the fuel system, handheld monitor, and all the sensors you need for an easy install. Now the cool thing is these things don't just support naturally aspirated engines. They have ones for power adders as well. So contact Pace Performance to find the one that suits your needs. If you want to keep your new tires looking great or just put the shine back on your old ones, Duplicolor has a tire paint, believe it or not. It's silicone free and comes in either black or clear, it actually bonds to the rubber and gives all-weather long-lasting performance for keeping your new or recently clean tires looking like they just came out of the detail shop. Application is as easy as it gets and you can pick yours up at your local parts store for just under seven bucks. If you drive a gas or diesel powered vehicle, whether it's a Dodge, Ford, or Chevrolet, Diablo Sports Trinity T1000 is a great tuner for your ride. Now this thing features performance tunes, data logging, a racing mode, and is even a diagnostic scan tool. Plus, it'll give you better fuel mileage. Now they're in stock and ready to ship at Summit Racing for 599 bucks. That's all the time we have for this week's show. We hope you liked all the power we pulled out of that big block Ford on the dyno. We'll see you next time right here on Engine Power.